Okay, I uh, went out to the garage to find the parts that I had. Um, I picked up a bunch of uh, <clears throat> ICs at the uh, junk store locally, and it uh, looks like I have a, a full complement of the TTL that I need. So that works good. Um, uh, the RS-232 chip, the Max RS-232, I think they, they use a Max-202 here, which is kind of an upgraded version of the old Max-232. Um, I actually had some uh, stock of uh, ST-232, so it was the ST equivalent, it's pin compatible and everything, so it, it, that just pops in. So that's good. Um, I don't have the real-time clock or the other chip, which I don't know what that other chip is. Uh, so I need to check on whether I need those or not. Um, I was reading the documentation and I believe I do need the timer chip. I believe it, um, the way that they rewrote the code for this thing, there's uh, vectored interrupts that happen. And those vectored interrupts are controlled by the uh, CTC. So. I'm going to have to order one of those parts. I ordered all the other parts except for that one, so I do need that one. I, I, I also got the uh, crystal oscillators at the junk store. They had the right values that I needed, amazingly. Um, I do need to find a reset vertical reset switch. Um, I've got a bunch of horizontal reset switches that I can probably cobble in, but it would be nice to have the, the right switch. Um, I believe I did order the power connector when I put in the order and the uh, 9-pin connector when I put in the order at Mauser. So I think I'll put a second order in at Mauser for the CTC. Uh, maybe these chips, just they're probably cheap, and uh, see if they have that, uh, that reset switch. Um, and possibly the battery holder. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about that real-time clock and the battery and everything, so uh, I don't know. I'll have to look to see how much they want for that. Um, like I said, I kind of want to only put in the chips necessary for the functioning of uh, CPM. But, I don't know, maybe I'll just build it up anyway. Um, I did have all the capacitors that I needed. I put in a, uh, it called for a 47 microfarad capacitor here as a buffer. Uh, I had some 220 microfarads, so I figured I'd pop one of those in. Uh, there's a 10 microfarad uh, cap here for the reset. Uh, so uh, I had a tantalum that I uh, so I put that in. Uh, these are 0.1 microfarads for the uh, switching power supply. This is a charge pump design, so it generates the plus and minus voltages for RS-232 with a charge pump, and it only requires um, uh, 0.1 microfarad. I think the old Max 232 chip required 10 microfarads uh, to do the charge pumping. 